Hello everyone, Ray Waldo, the Bishop of Technology here. Check out our website, raywaldo.com, for more information. Today we have created an, uh, uh, an image file from the MegDot uh, repart script file. And uh, it did give us a couple of errors, but I think the file is still okay. Uh, over here is the folder where the file is located. And this is the repart image. That's the one we're going to use. And we're still in the folder where that is located, so we're okay here over on the, the uh, terminal. And I have inserted an SD card, and this SD card is empty. There's nothing there. Uh, it doesn't matter much about what the SD card is named because we're going to rewrite it all anyway. So uh, this, file, this card needs to be at least uh, 515 or 600 megs. And uh, so I would say use a one gig or larger. And now it's going to waste the rest of the space. You can't you can't really use it too much. Uh, but uh, you probably would only use this one time anyway. So uh, what we're going to do is just go ahead and close that that file because we don't need that at all. We're going to open up the dash home. And we're going to type in GP. I'm sorry, not ZA. I just bumped the keyboard. GP, and that will bring up. Uh, the programs on the device named GP or something close to it, and uh, here's the one we want is uh, G parted. So it brings it up down here in the bottom. Let me drag it up so you can see it. G parted. We're only going to use that program for one thing, and that is to determine the name uh, that we can use for this SD card. Now here are, uh, is the uh, program has found all of my drives. If I open this up, there are three drives and uh, probably it's going to be the last one. And notice this is uh, slash DV, DEV slash SDC. Now remember the SDC. Right? And it says the SDC is uh, K4G C4 boot. Well, it doesn't matter. That's just what I named the file once before. Named the folder, the uh, uh, SD card. If we look at the B it says my Linux Live. Now that is the uh, the USB disk that I'm running from. So I don't want to create something on that one. And the other one, the first one, the SDA, is my hard drive with all of my partitions on the hard drive. So it's SDC. That is the uh, four gigabyte. That's another thing you can check is the size of the the SD card that you had. So what we're looking for is this. SD, uh, SDC. Now don't worry about the one on the end, it's just SDC. You can look at it up here again. Uh, same thing, SDC, DEV slash SDC. Alright, that's all we're going to do. We close that. Okay, go back to the terminal. And in the terminal, we're going to issue the command. And here's the command. Watch it close. So it's going to be SUDO, means I want to be the super user here. SUDO. And then we're going to issue a command called DD and uh, I forgot what that stands for DD and then we're going to space IF that means input file equals and the input file that we're going to send is repart R-E-P-A-R-T dot I-M-G and then a space and then the output file OF equals and here's where we use that slash DEV slash SDC Okay, that's an SDC, and once we do that, we just hit enter, and now it's going to burn that image to the SDC card, the, you, the uh, micro SD card that we put in the USB port. Okay, so it takes a few minutes for that to burn, uh, usually about five minutes probably for a file as large as this. Don't get in a hurry, just leave it until it comes along. Same thing with creating the image previously. It took all together about 10 minutes for that to run. Don't get in a hurry. These scripts uh, just take a while, especially when you're burning an image. The larger the image, the longer it takes because it does it, I guess, on a bit by bit. I'm not sure exactly how it works, but I think that's what it does. Anyway, it takes a long time. So uh, next time you'll see uh, there is a, a, a video and we'll have the support items on the site, raywaldo.com, for how to use this repart image, uh, how to unbrick a Nook tablet. Okay, that's it for today. 
See you next time. Bye.